hello everyone welcome back to the chair tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix while him is having crashing issue it is not launching it is freezing black screen low fps drop stuck on loading screen and all these kind of issue and how we can fix this up so let's dive into it so if you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos so what you have to do is you just have to follow the instruction and the first one is all about you have to try with restarting your pc and this is what you have to do this is a very simplest method and this might work for some of the this might this had this did work for some of the users so you just have to click over here in the start go to this icon go for restart and try to play the game after you start try whether it's going to fix or not if it's not second step second step is all about you have to allow the game to windows security exe file for that you just have to go over here in the search now go to the control over panel over here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here scroll down and we have to navigate to valheim so scroll down and navigate to valheim hence it is on alphabet you can uh, go over here at the top you can check whether it's already added as you can see the Valheim is already added here and it's private and public both these things are uh, checked this is very important that it should be checked this and if it is not added you can add it manually for that just click on allow another app go to browse now from here go to this pc and this is where the game is installed now we just have to navigate to the installation folder so open local to see now scroll down and go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam folder now scroll down and navigate to steam apps now from here select common now from here go to val uh, valheim now from here you just have to add this okay just add this and if i click on this i'll be getting an error because it's already added if it is not added just click on add once it is added just close everything and try go back to the steam try to open the game if it's not we have to move to third one that is all about install graphics card manually for that i'll be providing link for both that means for the, both nvidia as well as for the amd users so uh, you don't have to worry on this so the link will be oh, in the description so you don't have to worry so uh, just click on the respective link like this okay i'll be provided over here okay uh, sorry uh, uh, i just forgot it okay i'll do one thing uh, sorry for the trouble okay it might be here so okay i forgot to add it so do not worry it is i'll be providing that you don't have to worry so okay here it is so in the last two videos i didn't forget so i'll be definitely adding so over here as you can see i'll be providing for both nvidia for uh, both amd users and everyone so uh, that will be take you to this page and for the nvidia users for the amd users will be like this and to download microsoft visual we have to go this so i'll explain in detail so the first one when you land on these kind of pages you have to go here at the top and click on drivers now from here you have to select few things like your product type you have to select the product type product series you have to select the product series now you just have to go to product now select the operating system download type language so here in my case i am on operating system that is windows 11 so i am changing this to windows 11 and if you are on windows 10 or whatever it may be just do the appropriate one once it is done just go for search now what happens is you are getting a version as you can see that is 527.56 the release date is 2022-12-8 which is the latest version released on 8th december and the operating system just have to download this file which is around 813.49 mb so just download this .exe after downloading the .exe just restart your pc then try to play the game for the amd users they just have to go to the graphics select the respective model which one is there you have to select the respective one go for submit and you will be getting an option like this if you are on windows 11 you have to click this and download this adrenaline version if you are on windows 10 download this adrenaline version so if you are any other thing just download the respective adrenaline versions and install the .exe restart your pc after updating the graphics card manually then try to play the game if it's not working we have to move to the next one that is all about install microsoft visual c++ so you have to install microsoft visual c++ this is very important step 
So uh, Microsoft Visual C++ is actually, uh, it is quite important and this worked for many of the users. So you just have to download the Microsoft Visual C++ web. and before proceeding with that, you have to know which one is your PCs actually. For that, you have to know the operating bit of here. So for that, just go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, scroll down over here, select system at the left, then go to about. Now from here, as you can see, your system is 64 bit operating system. So now just go back. Now go to this link and from here, in my case, hence my laptop is 64 bit. I have to download this. If you're on 86, download this one. You have to download this one. So download this .exe and install the respective one. And once done with this also, you have to do a restart. And after restart, go back to the Steam and try to see. And most probably that might help. Even if it's not, just move to the next one. That is all about you have to run the game or dedicate a graphics card. For that, just go over here in the search. Search for graphics settings. Now from here, you just have to scroll, uh, click on browse. Now from here, just go to this PC. Now go to local to see. Now from here, navigate to the uh, program file x86, scroll down and navigate to Steam folder. Now go to Steam apps once again. Now select common, go to Valheim. Now select the respective one, add it. Now, as you can see, it is already added. The Valheim is already added over here. So once it is added, what you have to do is you just have to click on the respective one, click on the option. And as you can see very visibly, this being been set into default let windows decide so what you have to change is you have to change let windows decide into high performance it should not be in window let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save and once it is done just close everything then try to play the game and you can see the differences and if it's not working the next step not next step two steps i'm going to show you in the same way because you can easily navigate to the same uh, places you just have to follow the same instruction the one is run the game as an administrator next one is launch the game from installation folder right now when i'm launching the game it is actually on uh, on this one that is called uh, what i say on the steam but i should be launching the game from installation folder as well as i have to run the game as an administrator so you can very easily navigate to uh, installation folder from the steam itself so just click over here go to properties go to local file click on browse now as you can see this is where the game is installed as you can see this pc local to c program file steam steam amps common valheim so very easily we got this or else we have to navigate to folder and we have to find so it is quite difficult for some users just follow this instruction once it is done just right click on the game right click over here and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok check whether it's going to fix if it's not move to the parallel one method which i mentioned that is launch the game from the installation folder so you can launch the game from here itself you can launch the game from here itself and that is going to work as well you can launch the game uh, from here itself so once you launch the game you can see the differences and that is how you can see the differences and this has worked so this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to disable steam overlay and overclocking application for disabling the steam overlay you have to select the game like uh, right click over here go to properties now go to over here under general as you can see enable the steam overlay while in game should be unchecked if it is checked you are having the trouble make sure this is unchecked once it is done just launch the game and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about disabling all overclocking applications so overclocking applications are like discord handy virus etc which is draining out your performance so for that just go over here in this i'll show you go to task manager now it is visible as you can see here i'm only using krugel chrome screen recorder steam etc so these are i'm using right now but apart from there there are uh, there are 58 apps which is running in my background especially discord lg hub gaming services and many other antivirus etc so what you have to do is just have to eject everything i mean not eject you have to end the task like select everything and keep on ending the task especially for discord and all those things just do like this and end the task for everything and once it is done you can see it is going to take a bit of time but it's actually worth a lot then this is what you have to do then try to play the game and even if it's not move to the next one that is all about you have to verify integrity of game file for that just select the game right click and go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so this particular step is going to fix the issue regarding if any files are missed 
if any files are corrupted all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step so you have to try this and this is going to work next step is all about update your windows for that just go over here on settings now over here go to windows update on the bottom left now make sure you're on the latest version of windows and it is up to date which is uh, quite important that we should be running on the latest os or, or else we'll be having the trouble so update your windows and make sure it is on the latest version moving to the next one is all about disconnect everything for example if your uh, uh, usb ports are filled with joystick lg uh, logitech wheels multiple monitors and all those things eject everything from usb port then launch the if you wanted to play the game with the controller do this launch the game eject first eject everything from the usb port completely make it free once after that launch the game after game is launched successfully connect back the controller and try to play the game and this particular step worked for many of the users and i have seen it in the reddit quora and all those things so this is going to work for you Next one is all about uninstall and reinstall the game. For uninstalling, just click over here and go to manage and uninstall the game. And if you go to the uh, this PC over here and make sure when you're reinstalling back, it should not be on the same disk where it's already installed. In my case, I'm having only local disk C, so I'm installing on local disk C. But in a case, if you're having D, E, F, etc., when you uninstall the game from C, try with the D, E, F, etc. It should not be on the same disk. And this is what you have to do. Moving to the next one is all about what we have to you have to do is just have to give few commands in the launch option for that you just have to click over here in the valium go to properties over here you can see the launch option you can give the command like dx11 you can try to launch the game and see whether it's working if it's not change this to dx12 and see whether the game is going to work if both the commands are done and it is not working remove everything from the launch option keep it the same and the last and the least one is all about you have to increase virtual memory for that just go over here go over here and search for view advanced system setting now click on this over here go to advanced select settings go to advanced once again click on change and over here under virtual memory you should not you sh this should be unchecked that is un automatically should be unchecked or else you'll not be able to select the disk so here i selected c because the game is installed in c and you have to change it according to the situation so if the game is installed in d you have to select the d okay in my case it is c so that's why i select this and i have to click on custom size and i have to give the value initial size and maximum size so initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so over here if you go if you don't know the ram then go over here in the settings select the system at the top left scroll down and go to about section and over here it is widely visible that minus 32 gb ram so you have to do the calculation based on this just go over here in the search and search for a calculator and we'll be getting a calculator like this now i have to do the conversion that is 32 gb is my ram i have to convert this into 1024 that is 32768 i have to multiply it with 1.5 times that is 49152 so this is uh, 49152 so i have to paste it simultaneously i have to do the same that is 32 gb into 1024 now I have to multiply it with 3, that is 98,304, that is uh, this one, maximum maximum size. So initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM, maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. First we, we came to know what is our RAM, then converted it with multiplying 1024, then particular that value into 1.5 is initial size and into 1.5 into 3 is maximum size. So just give the value. Uh, close everything restart your pc and try to play the game and these possible workarounds might help you guys out and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye